Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to another episode of Gold Rush. I almost said another game, but <laughs> that wouldn't have been correct. Uh, so in this episode, I think we're going to try to get this um, drilling machine going. <clears throat> and I have absolutely no idea how to control it. So let's see here. Sure, control. Okay, so raise and lower... So I think we actually have to go into like a special drilling mode. <clears throat> so let's kind of... Oh, cool. Oh, that's right. It puts all the map references out for us too. I'm not going to bother with these ones on the side because I think they're pretty not good anyway. Uh, but we'll start here with 220. I think we have to... Oh, handbrake. There we go. Okay, so it just goes down. Okay, so it's down all the way, and then I think we just come back up. What? Oh, does this have a different handbrake? No, it says handbrake. <clears throat> Why do I have to hit B to release the handbrake? All right. Wait, it actually puts a hole there? Well, I was kind of digging that one around for a while. And I think you can even, um, like, dig more in each square. Oh, look, it almost made a straight line across there. Oh, look, guys. So I'll do a few of these, and then we'll actually check the map. And we'll hopefully kind of see where the gold is concentrated. Okay, so handbrake off. Handbrake on, and then down we go. So basically it's going to be this for the entire episode. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see what happens. We'll do this one in the next two blocks, and then we'll check the uh, the radar. The, is it the radar? It's not really a radar. Whoops. Did I run out of fuel? Oh, no. Okay, no, I've got to, like, have a tank. Break on. I'm pretty sure this is all we have to do. I don't think there's any other, you know, hit button for a core sample or anything like that. So we'll do this one and then we'll check the, um, the map.
Okay. Let's go ahead and sh whoops, shut things off. Is it map? Yeah, gold map, right? Cha. <clears throat> so, yeah, over here, there's not so much. Here, we're pretty much right in the center. So we need to find, uh, you know, I think I kind of want to do like this area. So we'll do 93. We'll go down here, come back up, and then basically just kind of go back and forth here. Ninety four is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but that's okay. So I want to do as many of these as I can in the next hour. This episode might actually only go for an hour because this is pretty much all we're going to be doing. Uh oh. Say I gotta get down close to the bird I can break you. Don't ask. It's better if you don't. <laughs> and I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna do like 120. Ooh, maybe I should. I'm going to have to kind of back it right up in a specific way. So we'll see. Yes, I know. I was trying to release the handbrake. Why does it say B? Like, B isn't anything. So hopefully we'll be able to get a core sample out of this. And I don't know really if it helps to do multiple core samples per... Um, square you know I just don't know so let's do 121 so yeah I don't really think that it makes sense to buy one of these considering the cost of them um, you only typically need them for like a day or two in game so the so this this drilling machine you know just rent it you don't need to buy it uh oh back up just a little bit Is there a fast way just to bring up the gold map? Instead of having to go from the map to the gold map? Oh, come on. Alright, so... I use my... Um, my Xbox controller to control the vehicles and when you turn you have to use the left thumbstick which you also use the le left thumbstick to raise and lower this drill so that's why I keep getting that message popping up Let's um let's just check the map here. Yeah, so no, not too much. I'm not really expecting I, I seem like in this area it was kind of pretty good. The gold concentrations. Oh, it's going down on its own. 
Oh, I don't act. I don't actually have to hold it down. I just have to push it up or down really quick. And I did. Um, somebody asked. I think I'm on my last video. <clears throat> if it's easier to control the uh, the excavator with the Xbox control. Oh, and all I can say is, yeah. Like if you don't have one, you need to go out and buy one. And, and use that because it is so much easier come on oh what was I doing Do I have to hit? <clears throat> oh, no, I don't. So literally, as soon as I stop, I just have to, like, flick down on the, and then flick it up on the left uh, thumbstick for my Xbox controller. And that's it. As soon as that stops, handbrake off. Go here. Now, if I go to the map, doing 67, oh, I was kind of hoping that the game would continue drilling down while I was looking at the map, but I guess that's too much to ask. For some reason, it does seem like it's slightly faster this time. <clears throat> that I remember it being. But I, again, I mean, it's been like a year and a half or more since I've done this, so... Next! Um, let's see. Uh, Experimental Dud actually just commented on the last video. It looks like it was episode 7 of this series. He says, hey Brad, just subscribed, to, but wanted to tell you that your Discord link has expired. It actually hasn't expired. It's, like, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, if you actually copy the Discord link, invite link, into your Discord... Like if you go into like add a Discord and I think you just add it there or add the, you know how there's like a little, I can't remember how the URL looks, but there's kind of like a set of numbers kind of at the end of that, that little link. Um, I think you can either copy the full link or just those numbers. Uh, it, it is, I don't know if it's numbers or letters. I can't really remember off the top of my head. Um, but it does work. I've checked it like a million times. Um, but it just seems like with certain web browsers, you can't just click the link and have it work. And it will say that it's expired. So I promise it does work. Just keep trying. And now I can't find the uh, comment from the person who... Uh, asked about the controllers.
But yeah, a lot of a lot of people, um, you know, join the the Discord. Um, I've got a Discord, it's, which is basically kind of like a chat program, and um, you know, I, I'm very active on there, uh, talking about different games and <clears throat> and things like that. So, you know, if you want to get in touch with me, uh, the Discord link is down in the video description. Um, it does work, I promise. Um, but like I said, if uh, if you have any problems with it, maybe contact me through my Facebook fan page, which is all uh, you know, also down there, and I can try to you know help you guys out uh, or girls uh, when you have those issues. But I promise it does work. Let's see how we're doing here. Nope, still the same. I don't know if we get if we'll be getting any dark like darker orange color in this map. I just I don't know. Come on. Oh. I almost feel like digging a few buckets just to get that extra magnetite. Just so that we can upgrade our our gold um, our gold not gold diggingness. No, that's not really a word. Just so we can start making a little bit more money. Uh, Michael Brown says, let's see, you do need your excavator to fill your dump truck later on. That's true. That's true. But if I get the front loader, I won't need the, the excavator. I'm just kind of wondering what I put back there. Like, like back behind there, see how there's like that thing going up? I have no idea what that's for. I don't know if that's for like another piece of equipment or I just have no idea. Fuel is low. I kind of want to say that this area somewhere around here has more gold, but again, I could be wrong. So, you know, this does get a little bit tedious and we're like 20 minutes into the episode or thereabouts. And I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm already kind of like through, well, I'm, I'm like halfway through the part that I really wanted to, to drill anyway. Hello. Oh, I touched the, I touched something on my keyboard. <laughs> Whoops. Go on to the next one. Whoop. Like I now it's like I'm kind of addicted, like I wanna see no maybe in this area. 
I'm gonna be so disappointed if we like do all these and it's you know just like moderate gold in this whole thing which is probably what it is any chance you'll play Bigfoot on Steam I think you'd rock that game says Electrohead um no but I freaking love Bigfoot so now I'm like really intrigued um oh my gosh there we go now I have to look it up thanks uh, <laughs> Steamer beans. It's called Big. Okay. B I G F O O T, if I can spell. Bigfoot. Okay, I see the game. Let me pull forward. Oh my gosh, what am I getting, getting myself into? <gasps> September? Oh, it's coming out in September 20th? Oh, it's in early access. So do you actually, you have a unique opportunity to gather a team. I am not endorsing this game or anything. So I have absolutely no idea if this game is good or is like complete turds. I don't know. Uh, let's see. But it says you have a unique opportunity to gather a team of friends. Or go on a solitary exp expedition to the forests of wild reserves and feel like and feel like a real hunter for Bigfoots. Now, um, if you guys have been around the channel for a long time, you guys know that I actually did go on a couple Bigfoot hunts back in the 90s. Um, I had a friend... Um, named Kenny Young, who passed away. I think I actually might have talked about this in my old Gold Rush, either live stream or some of the episodes. Um, but he was actually part of, or he was involved with the the MUFON, or I think it's like the Mutual UFO Network. And, and they're essentially like UFO and alien abduction enthusiasts. Um, who would share information and things like that and archive um, information about UFOs, aliens, alien abductions. But they were also in, I think they were also doing things with Bigfoot and Chupacabra and crop circles and things like that. And so um, I actually had the opportunity, because I had a lot of video equipment, <clears throat> to go on um, some Bigfoot expeditions and I, I, I always promise myself that I'm going to go look up the video. T Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to – hold on. Let me, let me pull forward. Where's my pen and paper? I have to burp really loud, and this is not going to be good. Okay, I got my paper. I'm going to write on here, big foot – tape exclamation point and what I'm gonna do when I'm done with this um, when I'm done with this episode is I'm actually gonna go and try to find my box with all my old mini DV tapes in it <clears throat> and find the Bigfoot tape because I want to I want to actually there I don't see any big this isn't the tape that I saw the Bigfoot in back when I was in college. That's a whole different... Actually, I never saw the Bigfoot. All my friends did. And they got it on tape. I never saw it. Um, I just heard something and kind of pooped a little and ran and got back in the truck and drove away really fast um, while everyone else was screaming bloody murder. I'll have to tell that story another time, too. But um, I, I over the years, I've promised, like, I think for like three or four years i keep promising that someday i'm gonna pull out the bigfoot tape and play you know play it for you guys make an episode out of it or something and so um you know i don't know whatever really happened with with well kenny uh i think got let's see he had he, he died of cancer probably in the early 2000s mid 2000s maybe um I, I just read an article in the newspaper and i kind of felt bad because he was a really nice guy and you know i mean it, it it's kind of funny like ufo researchers 
it, of which I am not one. I mean, I'm kind of like in, an, an enthusiast to the point where, you know, I find the subject interesting, but I'm not like one of those conspiracy guys and I'm, de you know, tinfoil hat or any of that kind of stuff. Um, but I enjoy, I do enjoy talking about, you know, the potential of extra extraterrestrial life or whatever. Um, and, you know, when I, when I heard that he had passed, I, you know, I was, you know, sad because I, I hadn't really kept in touch with him. I mean, I, I used to take him on, pl you know, some plane rides and stuff whenever he would um, hear about a crop circle in Ohio. He'd be like, Brad, Brad, he's like, you know, let's. You know, he's like, can you get a plane? Because, you know, I was a pilot. And, um, you know, he's like, can you get a plane and we can fly up to this place and look for the crop circle? And I'd be like, sure. And so I'd, you know, get a plane and and we would go and uh, take pictures of crop circles, of which I have probably have some of those on tape, too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, we, we went on a couple of these Bigfoot expeditions. Um, I do have to admit, like, one was completely, like, you know, not, you know, nothing. Uh, just a giant, just basically like a walk back in the woods with a guy that claimed to see Bigfoot. Then we met another guy in another time that was like, you know, I was jogging through the woods and this is where I saw the Bigfoot. And, he, and this had only been, like, a couple days prior and the guy was like i can't remember what what he did but i mean he was it seemed like he was in he worked in the medical field or something like that i mean he was he didn't really seem like the kind of person that would lie about seeing a bigfoot just going to put that out there when when we actually followed the trail there wasn't really a trail but the the man pointed out where he saw this, you know, supposed Bigfoot, you know, walking down, you know, off the trail back into the woods. And the woods weren't really super thick or anything like that. They were, you know, pretty, pretty lightly, you know, it was a pretty lightly wooded area. And I want to say it was either in the late fall or early spring because there, there weren't many bushes growing up that I can remember. Of course, watch me pull out the tape and it'll be like, you know, right in the middle of summer and but um, I'm just going off of memory. <laughs> and so uh, we walked down. We didn't really, f we, you know, we didn't find any tracks or anything. Though there was what looked to be kind of maybe a deer trail. You know, we did find some deer tracks and stuff like that. However, when we got down there, kind of to the bottom of this ravine where he saw the Bigfoot, not necessarily disappear, but where he lost sight of it, all of a sudden, there was like a gigantic branch fell out of a tree and crashed down like right in between where I was standing. And I think where Kenny, there, we had a couple other guys uh, there with us as well, if I remember correctly. And it, it just basically kind of crashed down and it could, it definitely could have killed us. I mean, it was a pretty big you know, branch. Wouldn't have killed all of us, but probably one of us. Um, so eyes it was definitely kind of bizarre uh oh we're getting pretty low on fuel here so let's do one more block <clears throat> and then we'll have to go and get the fuel truck and then we'll actually have to look at the map too and see see how we're doing so i'm gonna have to you know i'm gonna go and see if i can find that bigfoot tape when I was moving, uh, you know, a couple years ago, gosh, I can't believe this October it'll be three years since I've been in my new home. It still doesn't feel like it's been that long. But um, when I when I get done with this episode, I will one hundred percent definitely look for that uh, that tape. All right. And I'm not going to go too crazy filling this thing up with fuel. It's 1340 hours. So I'm going to probably, eh, probably put about a half a tank in. Oh gosh, where do I even fill this thing up at?
Oh. So if we go to the map, let's see what we got. Nope, all the same color. So yeah, it looks like we're just going to have to kind of head back through this area. Um, <clears throat> I think I'll do like these blocks here. Maybe we'll kind of go down into this area. The, the side blocks are generally not very gold rich. So I'm not even going to bother doing those. map one sixty eight actually has some higher concentrations one sixty seven who has a lot lot See, it's like in these areas, because you're going like minus three meters down, that's nine feet down, just to kind of cut through the top layers until you start getting into where the good stuff is. And then, you know, back here, oh, actually back here, we've got a lot more towards the top. So like 113, 139 is not too bad. 113 and 138 are really good, actually. All right, so which way are we going here? So we just did, okay, so there's 188. Okay, so we'll do 212 and then we'll go back to the north, I guess. Wait, isn't there a way that I can show the grid while I'm drilling? I thought there was. Hmm. Now I'm kind of getting excited. Go. Okay. I was going like full out, full throttle up there. So this thing must not be too terribly powerful. Now I kind of want this Bigfoot game. But is it one of, like, do you actually find... God, that would be, like, so terrifying. Oh, I was also going to say, um, the same trip where the the um, the branch fell out of the tree, we went to another place 
uh, that was actually kind of near near that area, probably within 10 or 15 miles where another Bigfoot had been sighted around this lake. And we go there, and I gotta admit, I did hear some strange sounds. I'm not entirely convinced they weren't deer, but you know, when you're out in the middle of the woods with other people in the middle of the night, and you hear like these roaring sounds, it is a bit unsettling. I do have to admit that. And I'm, I might have pooped a little, just a little. Oh man, I just realized <clears throat> that if I if I move my uh, mobile wash plant all the way back here, the um, the generators aren't really a problem. The water pumps are the problem. And I might actually need to go and buy more water pumps. All right, so we're gonna do this line right here. And if I can find that, if I can find that Bigfoot tape and I can get my I don't know if I still have the I don't know if I can just plug it up to my Mac and import it directly into iMovie it, the, the technology is probably way too old um, <clears throat> but if I can get that that would be freaking awesome it would be hilarious to show that to you guys see there's also this pile here which I was really hoping would be like filled with gold, but yeah, you know, you know how that is. Let's see how we're coming here. Yeah, 12, 13. So 112, 113, 137. Like this whole area right here is whoa 163 oh man okay that's that's where we're going that's just where we're gonna go which is right over there 136 i want to try to get kind of up on this So 130, 136 ain't too bad. All right, I'll have to add this um, Bigfoot game to my wish list. Um, maybe someone will donate to my channel and then I can go and buy it. <laughs> it is $15.99. If somebody out there is feeling super awesome and wants to donate 15 uh, there, or 1599 there's a PayPal link down in the video description where you can make a direct donation and then I can just you know buy it immediately after that and um, and maybe do an episode or two on it or maybe even more. Online co-op is up to four players, and it's being it uses the Unreal Four engine, which actually that's not too bad. Uh oh, we're skidding around like a turd on an ice rink. Wait, what? Come on, Brad. Classy here, classy.
what is this one 186 that's another one but boy one 163 i mean it's like one almost an ounce total per square meter so that's really you know that's really good for this area <clears throat> the only downside is is we can only dig down so far with the excavator. Now, I have had some people um, also recommend that I put the excavator down in the hole. Um, the problem with doing that, especially right now, is that if I were to do that, I would need a I would need the bulldozer to grade the area, and it's just a pain in the butt to do grading in this game. Now, I don't know if they've improved the um, you know the dirt physics. It does seem to be a little bit improved over what I remember, but it's not like stellar by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, let's see what we got here. See, here's another, we got, you know, deposits, not like over here. So yeah, when, when you get that dark stuff, you know, the really dark color, like, like <laughs> that whole plot there, you know you've got, you know, some good uh, good drilling coming up or digging or whatever you want to say. How do I return a rented machine? That's another question. I have to figure that out. I know I say I never do the side um, blocks, but I just kind of want to see how this one's going to turn out. I'm going to do the next one too, 264. Yeah, I mean it's the uh, the gold totals are not a look, you know, rich spot part. <laughs> yeah, one sixty three. The rich spot, it's like the whole thing. Now, I, I can't remember if I got more than one water pump or not. I just can't remember. Blizzard. Two more and we'll be done. <clears throat> done with what I was wanting to dig anyway. <laughs> ah, I need a drink of water.
And the last one... Good man. Yeah, like these, this area around here, like there's just, like these, these next few, there's no rich spots. And then we do have some rich spots in 117, so. I just need to go where the, the gold is. Okay, so turn right, engine, handbrake, backpack. I just do not remember for the life of me how to return. See, I think I'm gonna need another water pump to pump, you know, to continue pumping the water out there. I don't, I know for a while, let's see. I thought I could just return it. Oh, wait, I know how to do it. Ugh. <clears throat> we basically just have to drive it back to the air, like the selling point part. And that's where we uh, do it. Come on, you can do it. Oh, look at those brights. I love the, you know, the realistic shadows coming off the front of that thing. It definitely looks super cool. I don't think we're gonna have enough time though in this episode to, uh, To actually do a digging. A digging? And I think we'll even get... Um, well, there's something blocking the door. What door? There we go. Okay. Oh, wait. Early machine cell confirm. All right. What the heck? Oh, there's my... <laughs> The, the water pump, look, like, go back a couple seconds. You'll see the water pump was not there. Um, all right. So we need to get, I think it's one of these. Oh, crap. Yeah, we, we need, we need more than one water pump. That's right. Because I'm going to have one going all the way to the other side of the the area. No. And then I'm going to have the one that's like right here. And I need to get the filter. Which I know for a fact I had. Uh, 
Oh, there it is. <clears throat> so, whoops. Pop that right there. Oh, crap. You know what? I don't know if I'm going to be able to drag it out there without plugging it into something first. Oh, man. So, yeah, this will all stay here. And we're, we'll have to run into town and get... So we'll, I'll try to do my setup. We've, we've got about 10 minutes or so before we're into an out you know into the episode for an hour um let's go ahead kind of get all this stuff out probably kind of do the setup over here maybe power extensions Cable, cable. I think the rest of this stuff's probably okay. Let's go ahead and disconnect that. <clears throat> and let's get into town. And I'm thinking, I'm kind of thinking that I might want to buy two of those water pumps. Just, just to have a spare. I don't know that I want the big diesel things yet. Or what, I don't even know how the big things work. This gigantic pumps I have no clue ah frozen See, I, I, I remember a long time ago we had to put multiple water pumps in line to keep the the pressure the water pressure up I guess or the line pressure and I don't know if we still have to do that or not uh, why is it save like either it's loading or it's saving ah my butt my butt is sore from sitting here so long Going to have hemorrhoids when I'm old. Wait. I get a couple of those. Don't know that I'll need that. Not sure if I'll need a water splitter either. See, there's a small electric water pump. Holy moly. A lot more expensive. Like, what? Why would I want that one over this one? Unless I had, like, the big generator box. Okay, I get it. So, the this huge water hose, are there huge water filters? Like, do I... Am I going to drop... The gigantic hose in the creek? I don't know. Like, where's the filters? Yeah, right there. So I'm not exactly seeing, like, huge filters. Yeah, so I don't know. 
we're eventually going to want to buy whole oh, oh that's a reinforced truck wait pickup truck look how much bigger those are reinforced pickup truck wheels oh these are the regular pickup truck tires okay man those things are flipping expensive Okay, I'm hoping that I don't need anything else. I have my diff lock on this whole time. Great. Differential lock definitely um, increases the wear on your truck. So just so you know. <clears throat> and you do not want to use differential lock when you're on, like when you're on streets. You only want to have it on when you're off-road. It's getting dark in here, so take off. Wait. Ah! No. Oh. All right, it's definitely getting dark now. So yeah, I'm gonna put another water pump here. And then we're gonna take this bad boy. It's been so bad. And we're gonna, okay, so that's in. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Hope, hopefully that wasn't obnoxious, obnoxiously loud. I just had like a burp there, so I'm hoping that that wasn't um, very audible. If it was, I apologize for being so rude and crude. All right. So for here... I'm going to run this over kind of in this direction. Okay, so there. And then here, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to unplug this. We're just going to plug that right back into there. And then we're going to use this extension module or whatever. Um, though I think first I should probably get this guy out of the way. Now let's turn the diff lock on. <clears throat> oh, there are holes there in the ground from where we were drilling. All right. Oh. Now, I'm trying to see Rhonda. Man, 
And I would I would have swore. Gold map, wait. Toggle square, there we go. Oh, wait. No, I want to toggle that one off. So we want 163. Oh yeah, see look see the the better stuff is kind of down lower there. 163 is really going to be 84 163 is kind of our magic one, you know. That's where we we want to be. All right, so Oh gosh. So I think if I kind of go like right over here or something. Hopefully that'll be pretty good. Okay. So next. Ah. Uh -huh. Go up around here, straight over in this direction, where I'm going to put, or whoop, where I'm going to get this guy out. And then we've got a water hose somewhere. That will connect right there. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we'll get the, the large cable, the large power cable. We'll bring that up here. Oh, don't really need that. So we do need this. And then, did I, crap, did I have another power splitter or just the one down here? Shoot, that's the one other thing that I probably needed, isn't it? It's not, it's not like a gigantic deal, but yeah, I think that's the only one that I have right there. Well, we'll have to make do with one light. Big whoop, right? It's not that big of a deal. So I'll pick this guy up. All right, last but not least, let's uh, get the Minotaur. We're going to get him up here. 
so dark. Okay, so we're, are we on driving mode? I guess we are. Okay, this is really... There we go. Turn, turn, to turn, to turn, turn. Man, do I want to do one bucket? I could probably do one bucket. Though, again, episodes are a little long here. And if some of you guys don't mind, others probably do. You would not want to drive over those lines <laughs> in the real world. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure... This square right here... Is 163. So, if I... Let's see. Let's go into digging mode. So I just want to make sure. Make sure that I can get those scoops in. Okay. Uh, lights. I tell you what. Let's let's just do one bucket here, and let's run all the way all the way back. I just feel like turning everything on. Whee! It makes me feel like there's more people on my on my plot here and it's just not me by my lonesome. Take a bucket back with us. Just for fun. <gasps> oh man, I thought I was... Uh oh. Okay, so now we've got a problem here. This is not getting any water, which is yeah, too far from the river. So this is what I was really afraid of. Um, so here's what we're going to have to do. I'm going to have to get another one of these at some point, but instead of doing the washout, I'm going to put this in line here. Wait, no, in, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Wait, did I start that up? Or did I shut it off? I shut it off. Zero gallons per minute of 21 gallons per minute. Okay, that says it's got water. Oh, probably, I probably need to do like a whole minute before it can tell me how many gallons per minute. Okay, now we've got, now we're good. Yeah, so he's got water. It says 16 gallons per minute. Not sure if there's like a 
minimum that he's got to get or what, but... Okay. So we'll just we'll dig one bucket here for you just just for you guys being like really careful with this too because I want to <laughs> I want to make sure that I get like you know really good scoops like I'm like in the zone concentrating here. Like that didn't feel like a great scoop, but at least I'm not, like I didn't feel like I lost much. Ooh, no, there, we just found our first I love how it says eight ounces, but it's really 7.997. <laughs> I don't really love that. I kind of lied about that. I wish in this view I could zoom out just a little bit. I don't think I can. No. Nope. Okay, so 41. So we're about halfway to a full bucket. And then we'll just do the cleanup of this one bucket. And we'll see, see what that gives us. Hopefully at least 4 or 5 ounces. Hopefully a lot more than that. Considering this is a pretty rich area so that'll put us at half a bucket there for sure so you know this isn't you know, this episode wasn't really meant to be like a big money making episode. It was a, you know, where to dig to make hopefully tons of money episode. <laughs> you know what I mean? So hopefully, um, you know, next episode we'll be able to do, <clears throat> you know, get five or six buckets out of this. I don't know if we'll be able to get five or six buckets out of this, but um, we'll see how much we get, <clears throat> and then we'll do the you know the clean up, clean out, or whatever. So 
we're at about 70% right now. 70, yep. So about six or eight more scoops here and I think we'll be good. Four percent. So it's saying <clears throat> basically about an ounce of gold, about you know, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 ounces of gold per square meter. And I would imagine that each one of these scoops has got to be pretty darn close to a square meter. But what the heck is that? It's an artifact from the the lost alien tribe. You know, I don't know. <laughs> from the lost Bigfoot of. Saskatchewan. I don't even think that's a real place. I just made it up. There's Saskatchewan, but I don't think there's a Saskatchewan. Oh yeah, it's gonna get us to... 100! Yep, all right, so. Let's go ahead, let's shut him off. I'm gonna shut him off. We're gonna grab this bucket. <clears throat> and hopefully I don't fall in down here. Um. I'm just gonna. Oh gosh, we're pouring water everywhere. Oh. Find the cable, you. Yeah, we just need to get an extra. Go. So he's got power, he's got water. Want to make sure that we've got the dirt and gold in there. So he's good to go. And then let's power this bad boy up. Power this guy up. Holy cow, that bucket gave us 2% magnetite that time. 102 ounces of magnetite, that'll, that'll get us right there. Um... All right, so set basically eight ounces of gold right now. So let's see what this is going to get us. Please get us like ten ounces. Probably not. Whoa, it is going up pretty pretty quick. Twelve ounces. So that's four right there. Could we get possibly eight ounces? No. 7.3 but that's still way better than what we've been getting and um, we are going to have our uh, first upgrade uh, at the blacksmith which is also incredibly important because we need to get those costs down <clears throat> to make you know more gold so very good very good um I, that's going to be it for this episode of gold rush uh, I think it actually turned out better than I was expecting. I honestly wasn't really expecting to get that much uh, done as far as the uh, 
I don't know, the prospecting or, the, you know, the core sampling or whatever you want to call it. Um, we got a lot done there. We got our operation moved. And I think we've got some really rich uh, digging coming up here very soon. So, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoy this series, definitely leave a like. It helps me out tremendously. You have no idea. Also, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for this and many more videos. And if you want to get notifications, please turn on your notifications. It's the little bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Uh, so you get notified whenever I post new content, uh, new videos, or I go live. So thanks again for watching. Gold Rush. I'm Brad M73. Have a good night, everybody. And bye for now.